Hey guys, and welcome to another brand new video. In this video, we actually have some kind of bad news to go and report on, and it kind of affects up everyone here for the PlayStation 5 restock, and of course, all of you guys are actually trying to get your PlayStation in the first place. And of course, when it comes to this stuff, I always kind of feel bad whenever I report kind of bad news, but ideally, I always like to go and see if there's any good news too as well. Overall, even if there is some bad news or good news going on, depending on the day, I always kind of feel funny because sometimes I have like a bad news video, and then the next day it's like, hey, good news when it comes to the PS5. I do always want to go and say, even if some of this news is somewhat discouraging, it is always very nice because we do know that Sony, even the Sony CEO themselves, are trying their best to go and put more effort into production and make more consoles for everyone overall. So even if we sometimes do see some bad news mixed on in, this still means that there is still consoles being made, but sometimes there are little baby hiccups, and I feel like I should be reporting this as my channel right now is mainly based around trying to get you guys consoles and also a lot of Sony news mixed on in. So I all let's go actually dive on into it. And of course, if any guys are brand new, make sure you guys are subscribe we have a few more days left on our ps5 giveaway going on make sure you guys pop in the notifications as well if you guys want to if you guys are trying to get a console or just like all these videos in general for sony always leave a like if you guys enjoy comment down below your thoughts we have the twitter and twitch stream linked down below especially go and drop a follow-up on the twitter for restock news or if we see any drops or if i just go tweet about random stuff we always have the uh weeble sign up for weeble deposit 100 and you guys go get free stock and free money and coinbase if you guys buy $100 with any cryptocurrency, you guys go get free Bitcoin. I was linked down below. So I'm going to be touching on this stuff because we actually do have a con confirmed restock date being delayed. A lot of major delays going on too as well. This will be also affecting more so on the India, but there's a reason why. Like you guys might be thinking scrubbing, but I'm American, I'm European, I'm Canadian. Something like this does affect up everyone. We'll get into it, but I feel like overall it's kind of bad news for all of the regions when we have one major region kind of put together. And the overall main reasons why, of course, is, well, if one region is going to get delayed, that means that probably all the other regions are going to be slightly delayed as well. Now, we're still going to be getting, getting stock. Don't worry about it. We'll still be getting updates and retailers going to be getting stock. But this is kind of big to know in terms of how big the stocks will be and if there's going to be any more future issues as well. So go dive into the article itself. Thank you guys all so much for clicking on the video as well. So this is all from uh, IGN in India. PS5 in India restock date delayed to the end of March 2021, which really isn't as bad as you guys would think, but it's still bad overall. So uh, Sony has informed Indian retailers that the PS5 India restocks are now due at the end of March. According to multiple sources at the company familiar with the matter, who asked not to be identified discussing private information, there has been a delay in the arrival of the next PS5 shipments to the country. Previously, the company had told retailers that the PS5 restocks were expected early in the month. In fact, its own retail portal, Shop at SC, has changed its PS5 page status to sold out to notify me on February 22nd. Which, as you guys probably know, if you guys watch a lot of videos or my tweets or whatever, is that typically whenever websites mess around with the internals, whether it comes to like going from sold out to notify me, that usually means that they're trying to go prep up for a drop or there's a reason for them to be messing with the internal API at a website to mess around with this stuff. Our sources tell us that Sony had an internal meeting on February 20th to ascertain its plans for the coming quarter. One of its priorities, aside from ensuring adequate PS5 restocks, which is good news mixed down with all this bad news, is also to bring the PS4 in large quantities despite a price hike. However, due to ongoing supply chain issues, as you guys all know, we cover that a lot on the channel, shipments of both consoles slated to hit India at the beginning of the month have been pushed back. So now all these PS5 restocks have been majorly delayed by around three, four weeks. And as I mentioned, this kind of affects up everywhere because basically if they're having issues and they have to push it on back, that means that other regions either are taking priority and that kind of takes away from other regions overall, or just overall the fact that Sony may still be having production issues going on as of now, which we've kind of been knowing, but it's kind of a bad sign for all these other regions, such as America, etc., because basically they still have to go and make all these consoles and move all these consoles from India, and that may actually go and take away from people in America, UK, and Canada. I'm still personally okay with this because I do know other regions, India, Japan, Thailand, etc., deserve consoles, Australian boys, all of them, but it is kind of a little bit of a sad thing to see as well, just for everyone all around. Kind of sad. That said, Sony's own sake force had told retailers of its meeting before it even took it to uh, took place. Our sources in the company tell us this led to many eager stores to assume this to be a sign of new PS5 stocks arriving soon, leading to Sony centers across the country to take cash deposits up front on the console and shop at, at SC, changing its PS5 details. So basically, as I'm saying, they were all waiting for it and assuming stuff is going to be coming out. Oh. Uh, members of the gaming community reached out to us with details of Sony centers taking cash deposits for PS5 restocks that were due in March as well, which is kind of bad because people are basically prepaying for all their consoles. 
Soon after that meeting, though, the company did reach out to retail officially, as we saw pre-orders for Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart and Returnal go live in the country. It appears that Sony may also be playing favorites. The company had previously tipped Chroma off on a March 2021 restock before the retailers and insured e-commerce giant Flipkart received its PS5 stock days ahead of other stores at the for the February 2nd launch, a let it properly squandered. Sony does not comment on restocks. They're comment on restocks and told IG in India that customers should stay in touch with retailers, which I hate whenever they say that. Like, give us more proper details as the consumer, not anything else mixed on in. This was right after the console sold out during its pre-order phase for its February 2nd release date. In case you guys are curious too as well, India just had their release like four months later, so now they're kind of getting the initial groove right now. Now, however, the company claims it has told retailers not to accept any advanced payments for the PS5 until further official information about the PS5 restocking from Sony India, according to a Twitter account that tracks PS5 India news. And IGN India has independently been able to verify these statements. So basically, they're basically Sony's like, hey, you guys might have to delay, wait even longer for stock, which is not good to see. As well as I mentioned, this also could be affecting up every other stock because if one region's having issues with stock, it probably will be affecting all the other restock numbers for other places as well, which is not good. So basically, a lot of the places are saying that Sony India does actually have advanced deposits, but they had a little bit of issues with Sony. And it's also it specifically says that Sony themselves, if you guys want to go quote back up on top, Sony themselves literally did meetings and they had to go and actually delay all their restocks, which is not good to go and see, especially for a region such as big as India. As well, also kind of stinks too, because it did kind of seem like some selective re uh, stores are getting more stock, which is not good. As also, like I mentioned, this kind of affects a lot of people in America as well, because if there's going to be delays on getting another region uh, stock, typically as a company, you guys could probably agree or disagree in the comments, but typically from a company, you have to go and kind of fulfill what you're owed first and then start working on other stuff. Now, we are still probably going to be getting restocks in the UK, Europe, America, Canada, but it may be either slightly slight, like longer delayed, like an extra week or so for drops, or maybe the drops might be a little bit smaller as well. Like the movement still is going, and I'm sure stock is still flowing even into India as of now, if you guys are Indian. But when it comes to this stuff, it's still kind of bad news seeing even more delays. Even now, when we kind of see Sony saying they want to work on production, they want to make more consoles, but even as of this, they're still having some issues and hiccups, which I mean, it's, it's understandable. We are in a pandemic. I get it. There's a lot of stuff they have to make, a lot of surprise issues, but it's still sad to go and see. We have communicated to all of our channel partners to not accept and or collect any advance payment for the PS5 until they receive any further official information about the PS5 restocking from Sony India, claims Sony India. Furthermore, we have informed our partners not to make any commitment to the consumers around the availability of the PS5 restock in India. We would urge the channel partners and consumers to stay in touch with the official Sony platforms for further information. Given the timing of this, it suggests that there has indeed been a change to the PS5 India restock date. We have reached out to Sony India for comment, and we'll continue the story if we hear from the company. So there's a lot of stuff for us to go talk about for this as well. I kind of hint, I kind of hinted on it throughout this article as we're reading it. So as I mentioned, this is bad. <laughs> like this is bad. Now this is not the end of the world. It's okay. Sony's gonna keep on making consoles. They're gonna keep on flowing stock pretty much everywhere. It's okay. We can live with it. It's all right. We can understand it. I get it. Like I 100% get it fully. But it does kind of stink because if India's having issues, Sony's gonna have to go fulfill those consoles. And if that kind of leads into maybe production issues as well, or maybe where they're not making as many consoles as we were assuming. Now, for me as a person, I was kind of actually highly expecting that uh, Sony's gonna kind of flip the switch. And I don't know why I was kind of thinking this. A lot of the news was pointing towards no. But with all the major restocks that did happen throughout these past two weeks, I was kind of thinking like, yeah, Sony's kind of getting together with a Sony CEO talking about games and future games and restocks and they're working on it. And I had a little bit of faith, but overall, I do kind of think they are still running into baby hiccups. Now, as I mentioned, it's not the end of the world, but it does kind of stink if Sony in India are going to basically have to have wait another three weeks or so for the restocks to happen. And as I keep on making notes on this, this does also affect up other regions as well. It affects up the American region, the European region, the Canadian regions, because as I mentioned, they have to go and fulfill the stock up in India first. As well, we also know some other regions such as Japan have only sold like 300,000 PS5s, which is so, so low. Funny enough, they only sold like 30,000 Xbox Series Xs in Japan. I don't know why. But we're seeing all the stock moving around and it's just overall not good. It's just really, really not good in general general because it's just any delays never good especially in a business when it's based on production and having to move
move large amounts of stock. And if anything, even for places like India, that continually kind of per perpetually pushes stock back, always another extra week or so. And of course, it leads into more scalping, higher scalping prices, and more of a scarcity, which that's just normal supply and demand makes the price going up. Now, hopefully, this does not actually go and affect us up in America too much specifically because Sony does have their own quotas. They do have to go and fulfill when it comes, you know, the PS5, the restock, et cetera. But I do also want to make note that ideally we should be fine. We can kind of maybe be on the lookout through the next week or so. But the fact that we are seeing Sony actually delaying stuff and retailers also assuming and kind of hearing different news and physically like internal meetings from Sony themselves have basically saying, hey, we have to delay this restock. That overall is just not good news. And of course, as I mentioned, it's kind of brand new news too as well. This is from the second. So not good stuff to kind of hear this stuff. Kind of really bad news overall. Really not good stuff to hear. But as I mentioned, sometimes we have bad videos. And then sometimes maybe even tomorrow, even today, we might even see even more good videos mixed out in for Sony news and PS5 news and everything else we've been seeing. So hopefully this will not affect the American restocks too much or the Canadian or UK, UK or Europe or whatever. But overall, we might be seeing a little bit more of a slight delay or maybe slightly lower stock when it comes to all these major retailers. Thankfully, we did have some major restocks this past few weeks or so. And as well, also, we always know Sony is consistently and always making more consoles and trying to work towards more consoles as well. So it's never the end of the world. And hopefully, we'll have some more chances for to, get, to actually get more restocks soon. But my heart kind of goes out to all the... All the, all the uh, I've not been good at speaking this video. My heart kind of goes out to all the Indian folks out there too as well that are waiting for their consoles or we're expecting some early March drops. But on the bright side, a lot of the UK had a lot of major restocks too as well. So all the restocks throughout the world are not going the worst. But that's about it for this video. As always, if you guys want to leave your thoughts or comments down below, I would love to hear it. If you guys ever want to subscribe, especially for the PS5 giveaway, feel free to pop on the notifications as well. If you guys want to sign up for Weeble and deposit $100, you guys are all welcome to. You guys get free money, all federally insured and safe, and you also just get free stock. Coinbase, if you guys buy $100 worth of any cryptocurrency, you guys go and get free Bitcoin. And we always have the Twitter and Twitch stream linked down below. Twitch just for games and having like having fun, hanging on out. And Twitter, if you guys want to follow for restocks, news, or whatever. And Amazon, we've had a lot of Amazon warehouse restocks popping on up throughout these past few days. Those are always linked down below. Thank you guys all so much for watching. Thank you guys all so much for chilling. You guys are all fantastic. And I'll see you guys up later on. And hopefully, we'll have some pretty good news in the near future. Thank you guys all so much for watching. If we can, we'll have some more updates for some major retailers up here in America throughout today for some more restocking news. Have a good rest of your nights, good rest of your days, whatever time it is for you guys, and I'll see you guys up in the next one.